niemand in diesem Haus jemals Deutsch spricht, spreche ich jetzt mal Deutsch. Hallo, ladies and gentlemen. I translate it because nobody speaks in this house German, I speak no German. You could try more things. I can try more things. No, this is impossible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an exceptional pleasure for me today uh, to welcome a real friend uh, with whom I used to work a long time together here in the European Parliament. Whom I supported, I must admit it, in previous times when I was the chairman of the Serbian Democratic Group as uh, the leader of my party in Malta. To meet now on an official level as the, uh, in another frame, as representative of our institution, the Prime Minister of the country, uh, some hours before the meeting of the European Council, is another frame. But it doesn't change uh, the fact that I received a personal friend today here to the European Parliament. And with all the respect to the country and to your predecessor, with whom I used to work, uh, Prime Minister, also in full mutual respect and confidence, as it must be on an institutional level, I welcome the new elected Prime Minister of Malta to the European Parliament. For sure an exceptional moment, a former member of the European Parliament, to welcome as the new elected Prime Minister and uh, looking how he's changing from the parliamentarian level on the European, uh, in the European Union to the parliamentarian level on the national level, to the government on the national level and getting back to another European organ, to the Council. This shows this is uh, uh, normal, but let's say wonderful way of a political career in Europe. And you, your friend, Martin, thank you very much for your very warm welcome. It feels a little bit like coming back home for me uh, over here. Um, actually, I, quite, I was quite nostalgic uh, when, when I stepped into this building after quite some time. I do um, appreciate um, your words and uh, your congratulations. I must point out that I think it's quite exceptional. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know whether it is unique in Europe or not, but this new government in Bakemota has confronted um, three former members of the European Parliament within its ranks. Uh, myself, my Deputy Prime Minister, who is Greg, and my Finance Minister, Edward Cicluna, we were um, all three of us um, members of the European Parliament and I think the fact that Edward will be joining the all-important ECOFIN meetings uh, for the, the good governance of the Eurozone, the fact that Louis Greg is European Affairs Minister um, shows that this government is staunchly pro-European. So we are devoted to being good Europeans. Good Europeans mean, means, as you quite well taught me during uh, our experience together, uh, does not mean saying yes to everything. It means speaking out your mind, saying exactly what you think, respecting others and earning the respect of others. And that's what uh, the mission statement of a new government when it comes to our relations with, uh, with Europe. 